and to further illustrate the transdisciplinary aspects of research at this university, I'd like to introduce two gentlemen here today. Uh, Assistant Professor Dr. Osawa Hirotaka of the Faculty of Engineering, Information and Systems, and his student, uh, Mr. Oishi Masafumi. So, uh, welcome, gentlemen. Uh, thank you for coming to the studio today. And uh, so, uh, uh, Dr. Osawa, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, thank you. Uh, my name is Hirotaka Osawa, and I'm working as a human agent interaction field, and uh, I'm a principal investigator of the human agent interaction laboratory in University of Tsukuba. And uh, here's uh, uh, Oishikun, uh, uh, he's uh, one of my uh, laboratory members. Uh, could you explain? Uh, my name is Masahumi Oishi. I'm a first year master's student. I belong to Osawa Sensei's laboratory. Okay, so um, so let's talk about research conducted by uh, Dr. Hirotaka uh, Osawa. And so his work is on human agent interaction, which spans not only technology, but also the humanities and psychology. So, um, so Dr. Osawa, can you briefly tell us about your research? Okay. So uh, human agent interaction is actually a very broad area, and uh, but uh, there's uh, all, uh, two kind of the category in the studies. Uh, one is studies about uh, making an interface uh, for the human uh, and also the machinery, and that's uh, pretending uh, as an inter intentional uh, agent towards the users. So uh, we can make uh, some kind of robot and also the virtual agent to the study on here. But also, uh, we are studying about the intelligence, especially about the social intelligence. So uh, we are also studying about some social games, like a uh, mafia card game or web called card games, and also uh, studying about the, some humanity area, like uh, how the science fiction uh, improves uh, about the agent design of the uh, humans. So there's so kind of the broad area, and yeah, that's the interdisciplinary. Okay, thank you very much, um, and uh, I you know, read up a little bit on human agent interaction, and I'm going to ask you a question about it. Um, your research on human agent interaction is based on the concept of anthropomorphism, yeah? Anthropo anthropomorphism, and in other words, it means artifacts that appear to have human intentions, artifacts that appear to have human intentions. So can you talk a little bit about anthropomorphism in your research, Dr. Oso? Okay, so uh, basically uh, we are uh, humans and uh, accepting the several environmental things uh, as uh, sometimes in intentional. So uh, this kind of the aspect is called as uh, anthropomorphism, to accepting the some kind of the environment as uh, intentional uh, things. And uh, we are now uh, trying to uh, utilize these kind of the user tendency for the engineering field. And uh, some of the study is especially focusing about the appearance, uh, like a humanoid robot, designing the humanoid robot, or designing the pet type robot, and designing the car type robot. Mm -hmm. But any kind of things is including as, uh, some trigger to uh, behaving as a uh, human, like uh, eyes movement, mm -hmm. or maybe uh, postures, right. or maybe uh, uh, talking timing, or any kind of the, yeah, uh, things will be included on right, the studies. Right. Yeah. I see. Um, okay, so I, I think that our audience can understand you better uh, through example, right? And before we show the audience an example of uh, a gadget of yours, um, I, I, I'm, j I'm just going to add one more thing, which is that uh, when I think of human agent interaction, I think of, you know, pet robots or humanoid robots or even, you know, smart speakers like Alexa, right? Um, so, uh, but I heard that your research is going into another direction. So can you tell us a little bit more about that? Okay, so uh, I think here is my, uh, one of my uh, study device. It's called the agency class. And uh, this is imitating the human's uh, behavior, like eye gazes uh, in, during the interaction. And why this kind of the device is created is uh, this is helping for the blind people's interaction. Uh, basically, blind people is, cannot visible uh, anything. That's a problem. But also, they cannot communicate with eyes, and uh, this kind of social aspect is helped by this uh, device. Mm -hmm. And uh, originally, uh, human agent interaction studies is uh, handling some kind of the eye gazes in the robot or virtual agent. 
But uh, these kinds of independent technology is also applicable for the, some kind of device to enhancing our social skills. And that's a, a, our, my, one of our laboratory's proposal to okay. do in the, yeah. Improve. Okay, so my understanding is that it can enhance communication of, uh, let's say, people who are unable to see, mm -hmm. yeah, and people who are unable to communicate through the eyes because, you know, we take it for granted that we, you know, um, that we can see and we can communicate through our eyes, mm -hmm. but for people who cannot, this uh, device can help them. So in that sense, my understanding also is that this will help in diversity. This will help in acceptance of, uh, of, of uh, groups like minorities of uh, mm -hmm. different, you know, um, of people with disabilities, people of different race or religion. Uh, or uh, you know sexual orientation or something mm. like that, right? So in that sense, uh, you are creating like a like an extension of the human body yeah, like. through technology. Okay, that, that's very interesting. Um, okay, uh, I'm just going to change the the direction of the interview a little bit, and I'm going to talk about uh, manga. Okay, uh, so in Japan, um, I think everybody knows this. Uh, everybody who's watching today, Japan is famous for manga. And anime, right? Um, so, um, like, like for example, r there are robots like Astro Boy in, by uh, by the artist Osamu Tezuka. Uh, there's also uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, or maybe Rings a Bell, uh, or maybe nowadays Evangelion, right? Uh, and many more. There, it's 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 uh, there's so many stories about robots and robot suits. So, um, I think that. Uh, many Japanese researchers and scientists have been inspired by, by this genre. So, uh, can you talk us talk talk to us about that? Uh, has manga and anime culture uh, affected you, inspired you? Yeah, uh, of course. I love the manga and the animes, and also the video games. And uh, one of the, my favorite manga and anime is uh, Draemon. That's a blue type robot. Maybe you guys know. And uh, uh, to making uh, some kind of gimmick to help in the humans. And I also uh, I am uh, very interested about video games. And uh, I grew up in 1980s and playing with Super Mario and some kind of the right. video games. And right. yeah, that's a kind of influence. And also I'm studying about the influence of the agent studies and also how science fiction is influenced in these mm -hmm. yeah, researchers, yeah. Mm -hmm. I see, okay. So that's, uh, yeah, Super Mario, you know, uh, I totally loved Super Mario <laughs> when I was a kid. So, um, so th that's really awesome to me. Yeah. Okay, um, okay, and, uh, but uh, in terms of the application of research, yeah, I'm gonna now shift the focus back. Um, we are talking about the future, um, and um, what do you think would be the impact of a research on, uh, on, on future society. Okay, so uh, basically uh, the human agent interaction is handling about uh, some kinds of anthropomorphized or the, some intentional agents, and, but this is a non-human type agents. And uh, I think that uh, in future uh, society, uh, our species, our humans, will uh, extending our society, not only by humans, but also some kinds of non-human like uh, artificial things. And uh, we can make uh, some kind of different kinds of artificial things on the society to expanding the more uh, good uh, society for the more, including more diversity people. And uh, I feel that uh, because uh, if we are more warm attitude towards the non-humans, so we can make a more uh, warm attitude for any kind of human. So mm -hmm. I think that uh, this is one kind of hope to yeah go into the in future. I to see. Help in, yeah. I see. So uh, meaning increasing empathy. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. Now, uh, please. So uh, we're going to show you uh, a video clip uh, uh, illustrating uh, Dr. Osawa's uh, research. So uh, and at the end of that video, you also see a website of his. So please check out his website uh, later, okay? So uh, please enjoy the video. Nowadays, our business was surrounded not only physical labor and brain work, but also many emotional labors. These emotional labor requires social skills of workers and consume cognitive load of them. Robotics and computer science have extended our physical skills and intelligence. But how about our social skills? I developed a robotic device, called Agency Glass, 
to extend our social skills and to decrease our emotional labor. This glass supports our emotional work with HRI technologies. The glass has several sensors to behave appropriate eye gestures according to both users' behaviors and environmental conditions. Dark lens hides your real eyes and sustains your field of vision. So, you can do anything as usual with this glass-like reading. Walking the external camera captures faces of people and behaves as you gazed them. Okay, so uh, thanks very much uh, for watching, and uh, hopefully you have a now better idea of uh, Dr. Osao's research. And, uh, and again, this is just an ex one example of the many things that he's doing, um, and uh, also my understanding that he has many students working in his lab, and one of his students is uh, Mr. Oishi. Uh, Mr. Oishi, hi. Um, can you please tell us about your research? Uh, yes, uh, my research is on whether human makes social comparison between myself and agent. Uh, social comparison is comparing oneself to others. Human has a desire to evaluate their own disability and opinions. Uh, if we have a, a numerical measure of ability, uh, we use it uh, to evaluate. Uh, but uh, if we have, uh, don't have a numerical measure, uh, such as uh, how good player at the soccer, uh, we use social comparison uh, to evaluate ability. Uh, uh, social comparison has also the effect of uh, improving self-evaluation and inspiring. Uh, I thought uh, this effect uh, can be archived through human agent interaction, such as uh, com uh, communication with social robot or chatting with a virtual agent, uh, it uh, can be effectively uh, used in educational content. So uh, we created and implemented an experiment uh, in which participant compete with agent in a typing task. Uh, we were able to confirm that uh, humans make social comparison between myself and agent in human agent interaction. Okay, so uh, you're saying that uh, you, your main focus is social comparison, you said, and that you want to, you're exploring the connection between social comparison and human, human agent interaction uh, and how it can improve uh, human communication, basically, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Um, all right, that's very interesting. Um, and uh, my, uh, my uh, next question is, um, how do you find fun in your research? How do you keep it interesting? And uh, I enjoy exploring uh, what no one else knows. Uh, in particular, I enjoy discussing uh, the result of experiment uh, with uh, laboratory members and uh, also sensei. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Um, so I understand it very well. Also, uh, Mr. Oishi, you entered Scuba University from undergraduate uh, years, and then uh, you, and now you're a graduate re student. So, what is the, uh, why did you choose the University of Scuba, and also ultimately, why did you choose um, Dr. Osawa's lab? Uh, I have been interested uh, in coexistence of human and agent. Uh, so I was uh, interested in uh, not only in engineering robot, uh, but also in the changes in the human side uh, in that interact with uh, agent. So also sensei uh, examine uh, various aspects of uh, human agent interaction. Uh, so in this laboratory, I could do the uh, research I wanted to do. So I decided to join. Okay, great. Thanks very much. Okay, so, uh, and finally, uh, Mr. Oishi, please give some advice to students uh, who are watching this program today. 
and uh, research is more uh, interesting and exciting and than you think. So do your best and do uh, do your best to pass the research you want to do. Thank you very much. And I'm going to forward the same question to uh, Dr. Osawa mm -hmm. um, because you know there's a, a, a you know, large you know population. Who, who are watching today, they are high school students. So what advice can you give them? OK, so uh, there are two things. Uh, one thing is uh, you need to study hard for uh, science and technology or some kind of the, yeah, studies. But uh, I want to uh, uh, say other thing. So uh, the research is not uh, just a study. So uh, in the research, you need to find the original way and uh, making uh, some kind of new goal to uh, doing some unique uh, studies sometimes. So in that case, so sometimes it might be provocative, or sometimes uh, might be someone think it's crazy, or sometimes might be criticized on here. But in that case, so if you have a logic to doing some research, so you don't need to be afraid from the anyone's claim. So uh, and uh, to doing this research, so you might need uh, some kind of multiple skills. But in, in University of Tsukuba, so there is so much of the uh, different areas professor, like a humanity field to the science field. So actually, uh, several of our study, uh, our study is supported by the uh, humanity uh, areas professor. So, uh, so I think that uh, yeah, doing the research with several multiple areas with help and doing the good things in University of Tsukuba, yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. I, I think that you're talking about courage, in a way. Yeah, mm -hmm. that uh, that of course you should study and you should you should have um, you should you should learn methodologies and you should you should learn mm -hmm. skills. But at the same time, when it comes to research, exercise your imagination, of course, but also uh, be in an environment which is supportive and and also have the courage to, mm -hmm. uh, of course, make sh making sure that the logic is correct. Uh, then then you don't care about. Yeah. <laughs> what uh, people say. Yeah, someone or, might yeah. be laugh you, but people yeah. might laugh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. So that's 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 uh, that, that's really a good message. Yeah. Okay. So thanks very much. Um, so I am going to pick some questions from the audience now. Okay. Uh, and uh, so let me see. Um, okay. So. Uh, I'm going to ask a uh, question to Mr. Oishi, actually. Uh, what is the, uh, what sort of research are you looking forward to in the future and why? Uh, yes, I want to do the research about a uh, rival relationship between uh, human and agent. So a uh, rival uh, relationship has an uh, effect of improving uh, self preparation and inspiring, so I used the it to uh, human gender interaction. Okay, great. Thanks very much. And uh, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna pick one more question. And so this is for Dr. Osawa. Uh, the the question is uh, that uh, I think we are exploring the potential of artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. um, and so, what are some of the things that concern you in uh, AI research? Uh, okay, so uh, I'm concerning about uh, uh, the invisibility or the uh, illogic and the, uh, based on the machine learning methods. So uh, sometimes uh, uh, nowadays machine learning method has a very good uh, answer on the, some tasks and uh, that is a good point. But uh, sometimes uh, uh, there's uh, some data including uh, some prejudice or the, some kind of the discrimination mm -hmm. on here. And uh, that makes uh, some kind of the prejudice from the people mm -hmm. to the decision uh, to selecting the people or se selecting some kind of the category. So I think that uh, uh, for creating the some more good society, mm -hmm. uh, we don't. Uh, we also need to make uh, some rules and visible rules on the uh, during the community to creating it. So mm -hmm. in this case, so uh, we also need to focus on. Uh, how the artificial intelligence is actually doing it. And also, I think it's more important is that the artificial intelligence always uh, anthropomorphized to be mm -hmm. accepted in people. Mm -hmm. But actually, nowadays, technology, so it is just a tool. But uh, some people might be use artificial intelligence for the bad purpose. So uh, yeah. we need to be careful about uh, the, And that is a really good thing to do. Uh, OK, so that's, that's, a, that's an important point. So you're talking about the ethics of AI. Uh, of AI, which is fair, which is which is cognizant, or is 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 uh, uh, you know is not prejudiced. You know, it's it's fair to, to all people. So yeah, right. So that that is one uh, aspect that uh, we need to focus on. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Great. So yeah, so that's about it for uh, questions. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, thank you so much, uh, gentlemen. Um, and uh, I uh, please stick around till uh, till the end. We have we, we're going to ask more questions to okay. you later. So thank yeah. you very much. And uh, yeah.